Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations for Monday, February the 27th of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. So if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's bring in our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, using the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus our intention, looking forward to create our best possible life now. Here we go. Let's see what the cards have to say. Well, we've got smooth sailing as we move forward with the Six of Swords. Whenever the swords are all pointing in the forward direction, that means they're helping you have a smooth transition forward. So you're not like, you know, think of it like a parking garage thing. If it were turned around, they'd be punching your tires. So this is telling you, move forward, you're clear to, to pass. Then we have the energy of the Justice card, which is balance. Dis right decisions being made by you and for you. And it is the Libra Major Arcana which is the sword energy. So let's see what else we've got crack -a Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure white light, divine spirit, your ability to stand your ground when you make your commitment to move forward. Don't let anyone else give you a reason or their fear or their justification to block your energy. Stand in what you believe and you will prevail. This is where you don't, don't accept less than you deserve. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon and Rising signs to have their information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we have our three cards. And our underlier is the King of Cups. So this is the energy of authenticity, someone who generally means your highest good. So whether it's a job or a person in a relationship, it is a very good energy of someone who wants to see you succeed and is willing to help you in some way. It can be a relationship where they're saying, I love you, I, I trust you, I thank you, I appreciate you, all of these wonderful things. No doubt... I will eventually achieve success because I don't allow myself to doubt. Understanding that doubt is the opposite of trust. And all you have to do is allow yourself to trust and know that the universe is there to support you. It is conspiring in your favor every second. So allow yourself to be in the energy of focusing only on that and not let yourself be in a place of what ifs and, and oh my gosh, you know, or I can't. All of those don't work. Security. Now, this is going to talk about your bank account, but it's more than your bank account. Understand that security is a feeling that's established when you feel like you're in a place where you can trust. So the security can also be in the place where you allow yourself to not be at, at the, the mercy of the whim of fear and think that everything can come crashing down like a house of cards. I choose to feel secure. That's the first step is you have to be in the, in the mindset of secure and to work so that my bank account is full. That means stop extravagant spending or extra, we'll just say it what it is, that really smiley face company that, that we have on our phones that we order things from that can be delivered everywhere. Um, it's just like anything. Choose where you spend your money. Choose where you spend your money, especially your extra money. The, the, you know, the money that that would be actually saved if we weren't frivolously, you know, buying every little knickknack that we thought was cool. And I'm, I, I know just right now, I'm number one, me. OK, so I'm not speaking at y'all. I'm telling you all what I know to be true for moi. And that is if I've got um, extra money, uh, sometimes I'm, I'm on that on that app a little too much. And so. I've had to really catch myself and, and say, no, 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 we're not going to, we're not going to go over budget this month, right? <laughs> and this says, don't stop. <laughs> don't stop 
monitoring your your extra expenses allow yourself to be in a place of moving forward so that you can save and be in a place of security don't stop the plan for being secure allow yourself to stand in the energy of that and sometimes we have to understand now moving forward in success and and saying hey i want to attract this abundant energy so that i can do this and that with it that's great but don't take what you need for your security and use it for that purpose there you go soul time the frequency of soul time asks us to allow the possibility of a new reality to emerge one that embraces the concept that while the corporal body is mortal that the soul is timeless, limitless, and infinite. So if we're talking about timelessness, infiniteness, and limitlessness, that's the opposite of insecurity and fear and lack, right? So allow yourself to be in a place where you understand that you're creating in that realm to bring it into this physical realm. So we are mortal and we are here. Therefore, that is proof, A, that is proof that we have actually manifest into these beings so that means other things will manifest we are born into this life we can we can bring other things in with us in the energy of creation so we are proof that the creation process works compassion be compassionate towards yourself surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing that you need to improve in order to be worthy you are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your negative perceptions. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. We are perfectly imperfect. And that is where we are supposed to be because that's the moment where we can actually understand that we can create and we can do things. If we didn't need to improve anything, we wouldn't be in a place where we felt we were able to bring that in. We wouldn't have the, the necessity to create. So that's we were brought in in this way so that we could learn and achieve and grow and become creators. So we have conflict. Feelings which you have suppressed for a very long time, are yearning to be acknowledged and, ex and expressed. You're torn between what you think is the right thing to do and what your heart wants. At this, And this is the primary cause of your stress in your life. We, your angels, urge you to follow your heart and do what you love. Do not do what you think you should. Mm. I'm going to say that again because I just totally butchered it. Do what you love, not what you think you should. Hmm. There you go. <laughs> that was the real sentence. I ad lib all the time. My, my mind puts words in. That's the way it works. We have the King of Pentacles, which is the energy of the abundance, the stability, the security of financial abundance. This is wealthy, healthy, and in the grounded energy of the earth signs. So it's Capricorn. Taurus and Virgo, Major Arcana, is the King of Pentacles, is what I refer to as King Midas. So being in the energy of King Midas ain't so bad, and it can be somebody financially backing you, or it can be you feeling like you're the King Midas. High Priestess, she's got the wave and the particle, the wave and the particle on either side. So understand what I'm talking about is quantum. So when you're sending out your wish or desire or your what your goal is, and your end result is, and you're sending it out into the universe, the minute that you focus on the goal, you create the solid form of it. So all wave patterns collapse into that solid particle, and that's what turns into a solid existence right in front of you. That's how we bring it into this realm. So the High Priestess is telling you, focus, send out, and see the goal. That way you can collapse the energy into that goal, and it will materialize in this beautiful frequency. And look, we've got the king and queen of pentacles here. So it's definitely telling you, you have the ability to bring this in. The, the abundance that this comes with, 
This is the energy of the new creation and the constant new creation of abundance as you're in the financial security. And the queen energy is the energy of being very much in a place of grounded, secure creation where there's money at hand. So you're not only in the energy of having the money, but you're in the energy of actually being able to receive the money in this lifetime where it's now active and available to you. So, well, that's a very secure energy. <laughs> We're talking about financial security. That's the, that's the king and queen, masculine and feminine of that. And the king of cups is a very generous energy. So that's a very solid uh, combination as well. So don't let yourself get caught up in... in um, Feeling like you're forcing yourself to do a specific thing that really doesn't go along with what your heart says. Allow yourself that moment to bring in your soul energy and move forward with, with the energy that allows you to have what you want. Not what you think you should do for someone else because that's called sacrifice, my darlings. And when we're in sacrifice, that's never a positive energy because that's where we feel like we're giving away something that we really don't want to give away. So... That might be part of the conflict that's coming in. Have a beautiful day. Peace, happiness, joy, abundance, divine healing, and love to you all. And I will see you tomorrow, my friends. Namaste.